Meet Kamala Harris by Nia Hens, illustrated by Winda Mulyasari. Meet Vice President Kamala Harris. She is the first woman, first African American, and first Asian American to be Vice President. That is a lot of firsts. Kamala Devi Harris was born October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. She's an adorable baby. She was the first child to her Jamaican-born father and her Indian-born mother. That means she was the oldest. Her father, Donald Harris, was a professor and her mother, Shamala, a cancer researcher. A professor is someone who teaches in college and a cancer researcher works in a lab with microscopes. Kamala was brought up in a multicultural home. Her mother made sure both of her cultures were embraced. She also attended both a black Baptist church and a Hindu temple. The symbol she's holding in her right hand is an om, and the symbol she is holding in her left hand, of course, is the cross. She often shared her culture with others. She would bring her black friends home, share Indian food, and paint henna on their hands. There you can see her making what looks like rotis, which is a flatbread. Kamla spent summers in India visiting family and learning about her culture. It takes almost 12 hours with one stop and 12 hours again to get all the way to India from California. It's a 24 hour journey. Her grandfather, P.V. Gopalan, was a high ranking government official and a fighter for India's independence. He was one of the people who had a very heavy influence on her. You can see there she's talking to her grandfather. Kamla's parents divorced when she was seven years old. Afterward, she lived with her mother and sister Maya in a yellow house. The three of them became very close because of this. There's a painting of the yellow house. In school, Kamla was a good student. To get to school each day, she traveled on a long bus ride across town. She did this to go to a better school and have more opportunities. It looks like she's very excited about school. Her family later moved to Montreal, Canada when she was 12 for her mother's new job. Montreal is much further north than Oakland and it's colder there. It's near the east coast of the United States, but in Canada. When she was 13 years old, she followed her parents to the path of activism. She and her sister Maya led a demonstration at their apartment building to protest kids being unable to play on the lawn. They were successful in their feat. The school Kamla attended was a French-speaking school. She finished high school there in Canada, but went back to the U.S. for college. Bonjour, which is how they say hello in French. She chose to attend Howard University, a top HBCU. She majored in political science and economics and joined the sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha. An HBCU is a historically black college or university. After college, Kamla went on to finish law school at California Hastings College of Law. She then became a lawyer and later California's first black woman district attorney. As a district attorney, she created the quote, back on track program to help people who made terrible mistakes get job training and make a better life for themselves. This man looks like he needs a job and she's helping him out. In 2016, Kamala became a U.S. Senator from California. She was the first South Asian American to do this and the second African American woman. She married her love, Doug Aimhoff, in 2004 and is called Mamala by his two children, a pet name they have for her. A pet name is like a nickname that someone who loves you gives you. Other things you should know about Kamala Harris. Here's a quiz. What does one, two, three, four, five 
What do you think those pictures mean? Let's see. She loves to cook. That's right, the first picture was a pot. And you can find many videos of her online cooking delicious Indian food. She loves hip hop music. Do you like hip hop music? What's your favorite kind of music? She collects Chuck Taylor shoes. She was in fact famous on the campaign trail for wearing sneakers instead of high heels on some days. She loves to read. I love to read too. I hope you love to read too. She has written three books. One of them is a children's book. How wonderful. It looks like the children's book is called Superheroes Are Everywhere. Maybe you can find it at your local library. And last, her mother is her greatest inspiration. She takes her motto from her. You may be the first to do many things, but make sure you're not the last. Shamala Gopalan Harris. Do you know what a motto is? A motto is something that you believe in and try to make true. A lot of people believe in the motto, work hard, play hard. That means that they work really, really hard when they're working and they play really, really hard when they're playing. They put all of their efforts into both. I hope you enjoyed this book.